Welcome to Shaker Maths. Today we are going to learn seventh class mathematics semester one, third chapter simple equations. Exercise three point four problems from one to five. Before going to do the exercise, let us learn the concept. Real life applications of simple equations. While solving the problems related to real life situations, we should follow the steps given below. Number one. Read the problem carefully and note what is given and what is required. Number two, denote the unknowns by the variables x, y, and so on. Three, translate the problem to the language of mathematical statements. Four, form the simple equations using the conditions given in the problems. Five, solve the equations for the unknown. Six. Verify whether the solution satisfies the conditions of the problem. Now let us do exercise three point four. One, two, three, four, five. Let us take first problem. Find the height of the statue from the adjacent diagram. See the figure. The height of the statue is x meters. Height of the base is one point nine meters, and the total height is three point six meters. So it can be written as x plus one point nine is equal to three point six. Now x is equal to three point six minus one point nine because plus one point nine when transposed to the right hand side it becomes a minus one point nine. Then x is equal to one point seven meters because three point six minus one point nine gives one point seven. So Height of the statue x is equal to 1.7 meters. Now second problem: the sum of twice a number and four is 80. Find the number. Solution: Here the number is unknown, so let the number is equal to a variable x. Say now twice a number. Twice means multiplied by two, and number is x, so 2x. The sum indicates the operation plus and four. Take the number four. Is eighty means equal to eighty. So two x is equal to eighty minus four because plus four when transposed to the right hand side it becomes minus four. So two x is equal to seventy six because eighty minus four is equal to seventy six. Now x is equal to seventy six by two. Because multiplying two when transposed to the right hand side, it becomes divided by two. Now on simplification by two, two thirty eight. So x is equal to thirty eight. So the unknown number x is equal to thirty eight is the answer. Now third problem: the difference between a number and one fourth of itself is twenty four. Find the number. Solution. Find the number. The number is unknown. So let the number is equal to a variable x. Say again, number means the variable x. The word difference indicates the operation minus. The word one fourth indicates one by four. The word half indicates multiplication symbol into. Itself indicates the number x is twenty four indicates equal to twenty four. Now it can be written as x by one minus x by four is equal to twenty four because x can be written as x by one and minus one by four into x can be written as minus x by four because in the numerator minus one into x is minus x. Now observe that the denominators one and four are not equal. So to make them like fractions, we have to multiply both numerator and denominator by four. Then four x by four minus x by four is equal to twenty-four. Observe that the denominators both are equal, like fractions. Now it can be written as three x by four is equal to twenty-four because four x minus x gives three x. Now three x is equal to twenty four into four because dividing four when transposed to the right hand side it becomes multiplied by four. Now x is equal to twenty 
ट्वेंटी फोर इंटू फोर बै थ्री बिका मलिप्लिंग थ्री वे ट्रांसपोज टू द रईट हाँ सैड इट बिकम्स डिवैडेड बै थ्री नव आंप्लीफिकेशन बै थ्री थ्री एट नव एक्सइज ईक्वल टू थर्टी टू बिका एट इंटू फोर गिवस् थर्टी टू सो द अनोन नंबर एक्स इज ईक्वल टू थर्टी टू इज दि आसर नव फोर्थ प्राब्लम फैंड द वैल्यू आफ् एक्स फ्रम दि अडजन डयाग्राम सोल्यूशन हियर आपोजिट सैड आर्कक्वल इज दि प्रिंसिपल नव अबर्व दट ट्वेलव से मीटर्स प्लस एक्स से मीटर्स प्लस फाइव से मीटर्स सम आफ् दीज थ्री सैड ईक्वल टू दि फोर्थ सैड विच इज ईक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फोर से मीटर्स Now it can be written as x plus seventeen is equal to twenty four, because twelve plus five is equal to seventeen. Now x can be written as x is equal to twenty four minus seventeen, because plus seventeen when transposed to the right hand side it becomes minus seventeen. Now x is equal to seven centimeters, because twenty four minus seventeen gives seven. So the unknown value x is equal to seven centimeters. Now fifth problem: to convert temperature from Fahrenheit to centigrade, we use the formula F minus thirty two is equal to nine by five into C. If C is equal to minus forty degree centigrade, then find F. Solution: Observe the formula given in the problem. Right, same as it is. That is f minus thirty two is equal to nine by five into c. Now f minus thirty two is equal to nine by five into minus forty because in the problem c is equal to minus forty, so write minus forty in place of c. Now on simplification by five, five minus eight times. So f minus thirty two is equal to minus seventy two because nine into minus eight gives minus seventy two. Now f is equal to minus seventy two plus thirty two because minus thirty two when transposed to the right hand side it becomes plus thirty two. So f is equal to minus forty degrees Fahrenheit because minus seventy two plus thirty two gives minus forty. So the temperature in Fahrenheit is minus forty degrees Fahrenheit. Thanks for watching video. Don't forget to subscribe. Say karma